Hello everybody, this is going to be me waffling on about the starting markers and starting procedure for each track that we're going to race this season. Probably going to repeat myself about 9 billion times and I'm going to try not to swear. Right, so, might as well go through the basics even though a lot of the drivers in the league obviously know about it so when you come onto the grid just line up in your grades the heats and grand national races just line up in the nearest convenient position for your grade the finals and championship races will obviously have a grid that you'll be able to see where you are on it um, the only thing that we ask is you try not to start in the same place for every race try and mix it up a bit um, Try not to smash hell out of each other before the race until it gets underway as well. That's another thing. Right, so white tops. Right, line up. It doesn't have to be banged on the starting line. Just line up. Have a look behind you. Make sure that everybody's lined up. When they look like they are, set off. Right. Rolling lap speed on this track, I would say about 35 40 mile an hour roughly again roughly it doesn't have to be bang on and the starting marker for big valley in it is there where the red and white barriers meet the concrete right i'm going to say this every track about a thousand times whoever's at the front of the grid whether it be a white top or maybe a yellow top in the final if none of the whites qualify you do not have to wait until you get to this point to go you could be coming down this straight here on your rolling lap speed on this track you are not going to get penalized for setting off there for accelerating up to racing speed there because what will happen is a lot of drivers get better on the track wait until sometimes until they passed it to go you don't have to wait until you get to that point you can put your foot down before you get there as soon as you go everybody else can go unless you reach this point or go past it in which case everyone can go anyway if the grading if the white front white top is past this point and the grading you go and the grade in front doesn't go that's not a jump start and that's up to them so it would work a lot better if the white tops or the grabs at the front get your foot down again you do not have to wait until you're there nobody's going to penalize you for going there right next track which will actually be a new track this season and it's quite a difficult one to to find a starting marker for, but I think I've managed it, and it's going to be pretty a pretty short rolling lap. So again, everybody sit line up. I'm a, I told you I'm going to repeat myself. White tops, look behind you, make sure everybody's lined up, then set off. This track, I would say, at least 40 miles an hour on the rolling lap. 40 to 45 and the starting marker is that black board there I believe that's what it is or, or position board sorry when you get to that put your foot down again you do not have to wait until you get to that because of the length of this corner it's quite a big track obviously so if we wait until we pass that the rolling lap's going to be too long well. so as soon as you get near it get your foot down off you go uh, this will be the first time this season we've raced on this track so it should be interesting right next track we'll do them in order should be Bloomfield fairly straightforward one this one
So again, line up, make sure everybody's lined up behind you, set off. On this track, it's probably say about 30, 30, 35 miles an hour rolling lap speed, and the starting marker for this track now is there, the start of that barrier. As soon as you get near that, put your foot down. Everybody else on the grid, on every track, as soon as that front car goes, you can go. If the front car goes at, gets to this point, or any other starting marker on any track, or past the starting marker, then everyone can go anyway, regardless of whether the front car's gone or not, or regardless of whether the graded front's gone or not. Right, let's try which will be uh, death loop. Now, only kidding. Um, which will be hilltop. This is another tricky one as well because it's such a big circuit. It's quite difficult um, to find the starting marker for it. Again, on this track, white tops line up. Look behind you. Everybody's go to go go and I would say at least 45 to 50 mile an hour rolling lap and the starting marker for this track is this that second red concrete barrier as soon as you get near that whack your foot down Can be quite tricky because there's three concrete barriers on this, or three red concrete barriers. So I'll have another sail round. So yeah, definitely at least at least 40 to 50 mile an hour. I would say on the rolling lap. Again, the rolling lap speeds aren't set in stone. So this one here. So as soon as you get near that second red barrier, get your foot down. Yeah, the rolling lap speeds are not set in stone. Nobody's going to penalise people for going a few mile an hour faster than they should be on the rolling lap. The main thing to take into consideration is the, the white tops look behind them before they set off to make sure that everybody else is lined up and good to go. Right, next one. What was the next track? Kingston. Yeah. Again, this is really straightforward, this one. Right. White tops, line up. Don't smash all out of each other until we start racing. Right. And I would say roll the lap again. 30 mile an hour-ish on this track. The starting marker for this one is really easy. It's this here, roughly where the tyres and barrier is. Again, if the front car's coming down the back straight at rolling lap speed, you can set off there. Nobody's, you know, as long as you're not setting off a mile in front of the where you're supposed to be it's not a problem because by the time you hit the starting mark you'll be going at race speed so if you're coming down the back straight again you can set off there get your foot down right well uh, trying to think what the other track is now Oh, Mudford, of course. Everybody's favourite mud bowl. As you can tell, this video is extremely professional. Um, sponsored by, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the name, but a very uh, popular lager in the UK. Right, Mudford. 
easy peasy again this one well depending if you get your car on straight right line up I'm going to say it check behind you right set off on this track again 30 mile an hour 30-35 and the starting marker for this track is this first board here advertising board so coming down the back straight when you get to there get your foot down I can't stress enough the front drivers get yourself gone you do not have to wait until you're absolutely level with the starting marker you can go before it obviously if you go in if you were to set off here and people clip it you're probably going to get done for a jump start but try to keep it on the track if you would set off here not a problem I think no yeah that is it isn't? that's all the tracks I believe yeah some reason I've got it in my head try bend we are going to race up this season but it be it's going to be a clutch start go on green the same for Rockfield rough spot which I can't find because I don't know my alphabet so we are going to race this track this season uh, but it will be clutch start so it'll just be go on green random grids all rules all rules will apply although obviously you know there will be allowances for the fact that it probably going to get a little bit crazy anyway uh, that's it for the starting markers any questions you know where to find me and I'm trying to think now if there's anything else I need to say for this video ends all the rules and regulations for the league as everybody knows <coughs> And now on the uh, national points document there is a new warning system in place for no shows not because i think for one second that everybody has you know that must turn up but it just plays a bit of havoc with the lobbies when sometimes when people don't turn up so if there's any serial offenders with that then unfortunately we'll have to uh, sort that out and that's about it looking forward to season four and it should be a laugh especially on this track i've got a few and a certain uh driver who who loves changing his number all the time might like this track <laughs> right but if that's me enough talking waffle uh yeah I advise everybody to read the rules and everybody to watch this video and if you get to the end of this video without turning it off congratulations <laughs>